I love this bike, but the seating position requires my leg to fold back too far. This angle right here is, it's fine for most people, but I have sciatic nerve damage. I crushed a disc years ago in my spine, but I function well all the time, except when I ride this bike. So it affects both legs where uh, after 20 minutes or so, my legs ache, just they really ache both sides. To relieve it, I just stick my foot out like this and the pain goes away for another 15, 20 minutes. Highway pegs would be perfect for me to put my foot on something out here and ride long distances because that absolutely relieves all my sciatic pain when I sit on this bike. So cruise man, help me. Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing these Commander Board Highway pegs onto a 2018 Honda Goldwing Tour. Now, these will fit on any 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing or Tour, and this video is sponsored by Show Chrome and Big Bike Parts. Big Bike Parts offers a variety of highway peg solutions for the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. The large commander boards we're installing today, but also a variety of different style case guard mount pegs shown here. Check their website for full details. Today we're also going to be installing these stepped offsets, which move the foot pegs further away from the engine case and can be adjusted so that the foot pegs are closer to or farther away from the rider. And finally, this engine guard opening trim will make for a nice, clean installation. You should always closely follow the instructions that came with your Big Bike Parts kit. Here are the tools you'll need to complete this installation. For even more detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to remove and replace all of the parts shown in this video, check out my 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video series. Using a 5mm Allen wrench or socket, remove the two 5mm socket bolts that hold the fog light cover in place. With the bolts removed, pull outward on the fog light cover to release the retaining clips. This particular cover also has a light installed which we must unplug to completely remove it. Using a 5mm Allen wrench or socket, remove the 5mm socket bolt at the front of the lower engine cowl. I'm showing you this on the left side of the motorcycle, but it's exactly the same on the right side. At the rear of the lower cowl, you'll find another 5mm socket bolt. Go ahead and remove this one. You'll notice when you look at it, it's a little bit different. It does not have a shoulder on it like the one we removed from the front of the lower cowl. There is a nylon snap clip that holds the lower cowl in place to the front lower cowl. And this snap clip must be released by pushing in on the front lower cowl and pulling out at the same time on the lower cowl as I'm doing here. And you'll hear a slight pop when that clip releases. Then you can slide the case forward to release the retaining hook. Here you can see the small retaining hook and the nylon snap clip that fits into the opening on the front lower cowl. Now we need to remove the engine guard cover by releasing these two small cotter pins. You can just do this by hand. They pop right out. And then you just press in on these little black clips that hold the cover in place. 
Once you've removed these black engine guard covers, you may want to set these into a Ziploc bag with the cotter pins in case you ever need to reinstall them in the future. Now that we have the engine guard exposed, we can install our clamp for the foot pegs. There are three bolts that hold the clamp in place. I'm going to start with the largest of the three, this one here. Big Bike Parts recommends that you use a medium strength or removable thread locker. This will help to secure all of the bolts and keep them from working loose, but can still be removed if necessary. When applying thread locker, less is more. It only takes a little drop on the end of the threads and as you tighten the bolt, it will work its way down those threads to provide enough protection. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to tighten the two bolts on the outside of the clamp and a 6mm Allen wrench to tighten the larger bolt on the inside of the clamp. It's the larger of the bolts. If we look from underneath the engine guard, you can see the three bolts and their locations. Make sure you tighten these as tight as you can get them. This is how the foot peg mounting clamp should look once it's installed. To add a nice finished look to this installation, we're going to now install this engine cover opening trim piece. It just snaps in place. It's very simple to install. Now we can reinstall the lower cowl by placing it over our clamp and first I like to put that little hook in place and slip it back toward the back of the bike and then from underneath snap that little snap clip in place. Once the snap clip has popped into place you can simply push in on the side cover to reattach the grommet onto the boss. Now we're ready to reinstall the lower cowl mounting bolts now remember the one that goes in the front of the engine is the one that has the shoulder on the bolt. Now these bolts need to be tightened firmly but you never have to over tighten anything on plastic. Now you can install the 5mm socket bolt on the rear of the lower cowl. This is the one that has no shoulder on the bolt. Now we could use the mounting hardware to mount the foot peg directly to the clamp assembly as shown here if we wanted to, but instead we're going to install a offset to pull that peg a little bit further out from the bike and it allows us to adjust it as you can see here. You can set it at different angles depending on what's more comfortable for the rider. I'm using an 8mm Allen socket to hold the bolt into place on the clamp. I'm also not going to use any thread lock on this bolt at this time because we may want to loosen this and readjust the offset until we find the position that's the most comfortable. Now we're going to start out with this offset in the 2 o'clock position until we see what's most comfortable for Don. Now we'll come back later and we'll actually change this to a little bit higher setting, but for now we just wanted to test it out and see how it worked. You can also see that bolt that holds the offset in place. And now using the 9mm socket we attach the commander board to the offset. Now we decided to let Don sit on the bike and make some uh, adjustments, making sure that the angle and the height fit his riding style before we thread lock everything down. With the clamp bolts loose, you can also adjust the angle of the clamp itself. And at the highest position, it may prevent the commander boards from scraping the pavement around a curve. Once we have everything where we want it, we go ahead and add the thread lock to the larger bolt and use this 3mm set screw as an added precaution. So here Don is giving it a test to see how it fits his riding style. Now there is one problem and it's something that's very easy to do. You may notice that we installed the wrong commander boards on the wrong side. I actually installed the left side on the right and vice versa. This is actually a pretty easy mistake to make since the boards are not labeled. 
The shorter piece here shown at the front of the bike actually should be at the rear while the longer section should be at the front. But it's a simple thing to fix. We simply removed the bolt, swapped them around, and now you can see this is the correct installation with the short section at the rear and the longer section toward the front of the bike. Here you can clearly see the difference between the incorrect and correct placement of these commander boards. I'm going to hit the highway and test out the Showchrome commander boards. First to kick them down. So I'm going to keep my feet off the highway pegs until my sciatica acts up. Then I'm going to transfer my feet to the highway pegs and see if I get relief. I have been riding normally. I have not yet used the highway pegs from Showchrome. But now, will I get the relief I'm looking for? Let me switch to the Showchrome Commander highway pegs. Oh yes, I have the relief. I get total relief. Before I had the highway pegs, I could stake my legs forward and get immediate relief, but I couldn't hang them anywhere. And I had to soon return my feet back to uh, the uh, pegs that came with uh, the gold wing. Now, <laughs> now I can take those long distance rides without pain. This opens up a whole new world for me where before I tried a trip from uh, Dallas to Bandera and it was agony all the way trying to uh, adjust my body and stretch my legs to keep the, uh, the pain from coming back into my legs. But these highway pegs from Showchrome these are the commander model, I believe. Solve that problem. And now, a whole new world of writing for me has opened up. Mmm. -hmm.